Hi, it's Nick again, and back with another video. This, this time, the Rafa Festi 500. Team over at Always Another Adventure Channel. We're asking for their tips. I think I've completed seven out of the last eight of them. And the one I failed to complete, I crashed and broke the collarbone on. Thought I'd pass on my tips to you. Always another adventure, only wanted one. 20 to 30 second ones, and I think I've got a little bit more than that to offer. For those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, I think it's easy for me to do the Festive 500. Remember, I'm in Perth, it's the middle of summer. So, your riding time is really limited if you want to ride in daylight hours between 5 and 9. Once it hits 9 o'clock, it's getting over 30 degrees. And once it gets about 3 in the afternoon, you can see breeze coming in. It's a little bit of a challenge, particularly for me, because during the past festive 500s, I've worked. So, yeah, this is as easy as anything. I get an extra, I get 40 k's to commuting to work. Then, I get the challenging bit for me, commuting home. 40 k's into a probably 25 km an hour, gusting to 40 km an hour headwind in 30 degrees. The days that the headwind isn't in, which are rare, you're doing 35, it's 35 degrees so head seas. So anyway, let's cut down my tips. Probably the first one is front loaded. By that I mean, take it easy, with the few days leading up to it, and on the 24th you hit it with a big one, 100, 120, 150 k's. You do, I mean, I generally aim for 100. The Christmas day, you haven't got it. There isn't much of a chance of a long ride, just speaking an hour, then Boxing Day, to run another long one, 100, 100 k's plus. And then three days, you've broken the back of you've done more than 250 k's. The rest of the time, it just comes easy. Probably number two is prepare. Prepare the night before the day. 150 k's. You do, I mean, I generally aim for 100. The Christmas day, you haven't got it. There isn't much of a chance of a long ride, just speaking an hour. Then Boxing Day, to run another long one, 100, 100 k's plus. And then three days, you've broken the back of your dumbbell and 250 k's. The rest of the time, it just comes easy. Number two is plan. At least have a rough idea of the rides you're going to be doing. I mean, for me, it's fairly easy. It was always do whatever you can on, on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, have a short ride. Boxing Day, there's always ride to Boxing Day Park. It's generally head to work. And then try and pick up a lot, weekend ride in between with friends. We get home from work and in no particular order, have a shower, eat and prep the bike and get the kit out for the next day. So all you have to do is get up, put your kit on and ride. So those are my top tips. I mean, I'm not a person who regularly rides 500 kilometers a week. Actually, I've probably only done it seven times in the last eight years. But it's always the best of 500. So, so enjoy and have an attempt. So I will be. See you in another video. Bye.